Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in beautiful Los Angeles and I'm here with Dr. Mona Vand. She has an incredible YouTube channel. She does a lot of food videos, lifestyle videos, and today we are talking about one of our, I think, combined favorite topics, which is skincare. Definitely. Skincare and food and food for your skin. We were just talking before we started this and how like we both love products. Product yes. Products are important, but Food is so important, I think more. And I think you just have to know that you need the balance of both. So it'll definitely, you, it's best to use both, not just one over the other. Yeah, that's definitely my approach as well with um, with skin is really good to take care of the outside, but also from the inside mm -hmm. out, especially when it comes to acne, because I think a lot of it can actually stem from your digestion and your um, like inflammation levels. I also feel I've noticed products can really keep your skin clear and prevent wrinkles and mm -hmm. fine lines, but that true inner glow yes. is gonna come from like your diet and what your, you know, your water consumption, everything you're doing on a day-to-day -day okay. basis. So you need both. Yes, right. I think they go hand in hand, yeah. definitely. So I'll start with my absolute favorite skin food, which is berries. I love organic berries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, Usually the darker the berry, the more antioxidant, but mm -hmm. they're just so amazing for your skin. Um, packed with antioxidants, they're gonna give you that really like beautiful baby skin. One tip that I share a lot on my channel is to make sure you're properly food combining fruit. So with fruit, it's really best to eat it on an empty stomach by itself so that it's properly digested. Yes. Because if you eat it after a big meal, like a, especially a meal filled with like starches or proteins, because it's digested so quickly, it ends up getting a little backed up in your GI tract and starts mm -hmm. to putrefy, which almost means rot. Some people it affects more than others, but mm -hmm. just like a general tip, eating fruit first thing in the morning, um, when you wake up, your body's like ready to digest whatever um, you put into it because mm -hmm. it's like has a natural fast overnight. Fruit's literally the most detoxing food on the planet. Yeah. So if you can eat it in the morning, you're just gonna get yeah. great benefit. And it's like the most complete Thing. You've got your vitamins, you've got your water, your fiber, it tastes good. It's like, for me, it's one of like the most perfect foods for human because, for human, <laughs> for humans, <laughs> for people. <laughs> Because it's like we're naturally attracted to fruit. If you're not so sure about it, start by eating it as you know the first thing of uh, the first meal of the day. I love strawberries and Me blueberries too. too. Also, like even the brain to the brain to gut relationship is so strong. There's so mm -hmm. much data on it right now, just showing how much it's connected. So and then the visualness, like you see it, it's bright, it's beautiful, it smells good. You already start digesting just by this whole process. So eating beautiful, bright plant-based food will make you happier, yes. just make you glow more. Yeah. So one of my favorite favorite foods, which you guys may already know, for skin are greens. Here we have some spinach. I think this is one of the most versatile greens because it's not that dense in flavor. So if, you're, if you have a tough time eating greens, spinach is really light. I think it's really easy to eat and you could add it to lots of different um, foods. We were just doing a video over on Mona's channel, which you guys have to watch as well. We made um, really good salads and we had spinach as the base. And then you could put in sweet potatoes or quinoa or even lentil pasta, whatever Anything, you wanted right. to. Yeah. So just sneak in some greens. They're super rich in minerals and antioxidants. They're also very alkaline, so they actually reduce or they can neutralize a lot of the acidity in the body and acidity or having too much acidity is actually not good at all. It's for, inflammatory. It's inflammatory. So you're not just helping your skin by eating these things but your whole body, your your digestion, your bone health, your um, your liver health, everything, your hair, your nails. So right. it's really like the full package, but your skin definitely does benefit from it. If you don't want to eat them, you know, as part of a salad or as like a, a meal, you could always do juices or smoothies. They're just really easy to kind of sneak in there. I really see it as like almost like a medicine for your body, but especially for your skin, especially like green juices. Mm -hmm. So, so powerful. And it's such an easy, a green juice is an easy way. Yes. Um, it's great too for anyone that has like if you have rosacea or eczema, um, anything that's worsened by inflammation, eating things that are anti-inflammatory can really help. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Should we go to a negative one? Yes. So my first negative food I'm going to talk about is just fried food in general. I think this is a really important one because a lot of times people will go out and get even like fried vegetables. I think that's what frustrates people the most is when they think they're eating really well and don't know right. why they're not getting the results they want. Exactly. Right? Basically, when you fry oil, it can become very toxic to your body. Um, not only does it lose all nutritional value, 
but it also damages the outer layer of your cells. And if you know, like our skin cells, all of our cells, like they have to protect what's in there. They have to keep moisture in, they have to keep what's supposed to stay in, in and right. not let anything bad come in. So it kind of goes both ways. So you can literally age your skin faster by eating fried foods and that's yes. fried vegetables, fried bananas, yes. anything. That's a big motivation. If you just think about it, like forget about your, your body and like your weight and stuff, but if you just think about your skin, You're right? For me, for, yeah, that, for me that's too. been a big one. Like that's been a really big one because I've actually suffered with my skin for, I think since I was like 16 years old or so, and that's how I have kept my body in good shape because my motivation is my skin. Yeah, you're like the body's just secondary to it. Really, yes, I'm focusing yes, on this. <laughs> totally, it's like a good side effect but afterwards. That's a super important point too. Is anything you're doing that's good for one part of your body? Yes, should benefit everything else. Like you should never have to compromise like your gut for your skin. Everything should be whole, like whole body, yes. holistic. The second negative that I think we both agree a lot on is dairy. This is something that I wish that everyone knew or could at least just try and experiment with because I think if you do suffer with some acne, if you just cut out dairy, that could be an amazing improvement. It could lead to so much less inflammation and bumps in your skin that that might be the only thing you have to do or cut out or change in your lifestyles to see really, really good results. Mm -hmm. So the thing with dairy is that it's of course coming from another animal. That milk is meant for, if you're talking about like dairy from cows for example, that milk is meant for a little baby cow to grow into a huge cow <laughs> within yeah. like six months or so. So it's got all of the perfect hormones and combinations for that little animal to grow into a huge animal within a certain uh, time frame. Right. So when we consume that milk, those hormones can actually have an effect on our own chemistry, on our own hormones, and I think that our body doesn't always know what to do with that. So if you do suffer with your skin, definitely just try cutting it out, and there are so many alternatives to dairy. Like you can mm -hmm. find alternatives to everything, like milk, yogurts, cheeses, ice creams. Everything is available right. now. It's not like you have to totally stop and feel like left out from anything, like if you have um, milk with your coffee or with your cereal or with your oatmeal you can still have that but just in a in a plant-based version one more point to add like yeah. even if you're just talking about the purest milk that comes from a cow on your own farm there's still issues but now add in the hormones that are added like they're getting injected right. with hormones just to and be able to produce that milk the antibiotics there's even so much more of the, to of the toxicity that goes into how they're farmed yeah. I mean they're given antidepressants the yes. antibiotics there's a lot so the next um, positive one we both want to talk about is sweet potatoes yay Love sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> they're in a lot of your videos yes. and my videos. Yes. Um, we have some cubed and cooked right here, and then we just also wanted to show you what it looks like raw in case anyone was wondering. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite way, by the way, is literally to peel it and slice it super, super thin, put it on a sheet in the oven, and that way when they're so thin, you don't need oil, and they kind of oh. burn a little bit, and they taste like crunchy french fries. So Ooh. it's a little hack to I french have fries. To try that. Oh, it's so good. Okay, it's look so out good. for that in a when yeah. I eat today, inspired by Mona. <laughs> I love that. One of the main reasons they're great for skin is the vitamin A. So, yes. which is actually retinol. Right? Literally, exactly. exactly. Like vitamin you're A. You're eating retinol. I mean, micro, tretinoin, mm -hmm. like anything you like. A lot of these prescriptions are based from vitamin A. Yes. Anti aging. They help you exfoliate internally. So they're like exfoliating and really giving you like a bright glow. It's really just like the number one anti aging ingredient. Like that's what the most studies and most data show. It tastes are. really good. It tastes really good. You don't have to do much to it. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's really good on its own. Like Mona said, just baking it. You could even steam it. Steam it. You, you yeah. can actually even blend it and use it as like, a, that's a little more complicated, but it can be the base for like a cheese sauce or yes. like a creamy sauce. Or you could just do a soup, like a sweet yeah. potato soup from it. Just steam Clearly it. Clearly you like sweet potato. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but again, good. going back to like the fried foods. Mm -hmm. So if you're at a restaurant, for example, and you want to order a sweet potato, usually there, if it's fries, it's it's fried. Right. I think, you know, from time to time, it's fine. Like I definitely a little, eat like a little fries treat. Sometimes. Yes, <laughs> for a sure. little treat. But having them as plain as possible is best to get those good benefits for the skin. You're going to go out and live your life and like, yes. where it's not like I never eat fried food or Same. you don't eat there. But the more you can have things come in their plain natural form and then like you salt it or you do whatever you want, it's better. And then our fourth favorite food for healthy skin are avocados. We've got a beautiful avocado right here. So these are really good because they have good fats. We need good fats for our skin. They're really rich in omega-3 and 6. Whenever I think of avocados or healthy fats, I think of like that really plump, yeah, you know, that like volume and that yes. plumpness in your skin, almost gives yes. it like baby soft. 
That's what I love yes. about avocados. And it's also like a great substitute for dairy, like for mayonnaise. Help yeah. it by cutting out other dairy like spreads or creams. You're helping prevent breakouts and you're also mm -hmm. helping your skin with softness yeah. and plumpness. I think of it kind of like an internal moisturizer. Yes. And not just for your face, of course, for your entire body, also for your hair. Mm -hmm. Again, we go back to like that it's not just good for the skin, but like your right. whole body. Your skin is like your arms, your legs, it's not just your face. And I think they taste really good and they're like, as Mona said, it's a great alternative to cheese and butters, even if you want to do like some Ezekiel toast or something and have it on top. Oh, is he, how, how do you say Ezekiel? How do you say it? <laughs> we say Ezekiel. Ezekiel, okay. I, yeah. I was like, I have to ask. Okay, I love Ezekiel toast. Yes. <laughs> I like how you say we it. We don't better. have that in Europe though. We right? don't. No. You know but what? I, I used to eat it when I lived in New York. I actually um, don't even get it, to be honest. I go to the farmer's market and the only bread that I like to eat is some that comes like really fresh from a baker, wherever yeah. it is, because I just want, I want minimal ingredients in all my food. True. I want it local and fresh. True. And it's less expensive. And I think the longer you can keep something, the worse it is for your oh, body. Oh, it only lasts five days. the more preservatives it has, and then our body can't break it down Completely. as good as like something fresh. Just a little good tip. tip. Yeah. Good tip. One more thing too, an avocado is so nutritious and nutrient dense it can actually if you're in like a rush it could serve as like a meal if you have to it's better than a bar right you, you sometimes have them in your purse oh right? i carry them listen yes. i'm no stranger to an avocado at the airport because it, but it's, it's just, such a good idea it's though. such a good idea and all you do is slice it and then stick a spoon in or you could literally stick crackers in there and you don't yes. even have to make anything messy yes i love that okay we also have lemons but this yes is just this is on. like a little extra bonus vitamin c is again kind of like retinol we, we love to apply it to the top of our skin but ingested like internally is amazing for uh, brightness of the skin, for having like a good glow, and they're super detoxifying as well and great for the liver. And that's again super important in having clear skin is you wanna make sure that your body is functioning well and then it's gonna show on the outside. I love to have them in the morning with some water, just kind of make like a little bit of lemon water, or you could add them to juices, smoothies, um, on top of salads as dressings, and it's just a really simple, delicious thing. I agree. I love that. Yes. Yeah. The third negative food that I want to talk about for skin is gluten. Now gluten I'm sure everyone has heard about. It's kind of a craze. Everyone's going gluten free. The thing about gluten, even if you're not gluten intolerant, even if you don't have celiac, which is a true gluten allergy, I would still recommend avoiding it when you can because it's inflammatory. So this kind of goes back to what we're talking about with right. inflammation. Inflammation is literally the leading cause of every disease, like almost every single yes. disease in your body. So whenever we can fight it, we want to. It's always a good thing. And inflammation, like I said, can worsen like dry skin, rosacea, acne. When you think of like really inflamed acne, there's just so much negative that it can cause that I would mm -hmm. try to avoid it. And there's so many great gluten-free options now. Yes. No? If you can avoid it, and of course we all live life and we travel, we do things it's not always you know possible to eat a hundred percent gluten free but if you do have the option just try not to go for the gluten if you are sensitive with your skin and you exactly know. that's kind of the key to all this it's not like you're a hundred percent perfect all the time but when you can make a big effort and in your house always yes. have alternatives when you're out it can be a little difficult yes but. I, I totally agree with that as well. At home, I try to keep everything quite clean, so that's what I'm going to eat. But when you're out and about, it's not as certain that you're going to find certain things. So I would rather spend like my non-healthy food money or calories or things that might not be so good for right. my skin. I want to spend those outside, you know, when I don't right. have that control. Right. But at home, I try to keep lots of healthy options so that there's always something to go, like to, to grab and to eat mm -hmm. and to cook with. And then the last food that we would definitely say to avoid are processed sugars. We do have fruit on the table and you guys know that we do love fruit, but fruit has good sugars and fruit comes in the perfect package with water, with fiber, with vitamins. So it's a, it's a sugar, but it's transported and it's carried in a really good package within your body. It's but, not so foreign to your body. It's not right. like a toxic thing that your body's trying right. to figure out. What to and do it's a it. whole food. Processed sugars, they're literally going into something like this or whatever other fruit, and they're just extracting that sugar. They're leaving behind the fiber, the vitamins, the water, the life force of the actual fruit and mm -hmm. of all the goodness. And then you're taking that one little part of the fruit, and then you're like also increasing it by so many um, times what could be in here as maybe I don't know 20% I don't know how much sugar is in, in this but you're basically making that like 200% by itself and as an empty just, calorie literally as, totally yeah right 
and then it goes into your body and your body's like, but where's all the other stuff that this is supposed to cover? Right. <laughs> you know? Right. It's like floating in there by itself. Or it's added to like fried foods and oils and like a different package that your body totally doesn't get. Or, and it's even like sometimes <clears throat> the way they make the sugar, like where they're sourcing it from, like that in itself is just foreign right. and hard for your body to break down. I think we all crave sugars. I think it's a natural part mm -hmm. of like humans to want sweet things. But it's just about finding the right sweet thing. So that wraps up our four favorite foods for really great skin and four things to avoid. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely go over to Mona's channel. We filmed another really great video on her channel showing you what our favorite lunch ideas are. And where can they find you? You can find me at Dr. Mona Van. It's D-R Mona Van. And that's the same on Instagram or YouTube. Thank you so much for being on my channel. And thank, thank you for you. inviting me to your home. I'm so happy Beautiful. to have you here. Her kitchen is like goals. It's a great gorgeous kitchen. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and we'll speak to you guys soon.